High rods are an important part of the steering system in a car. Compared to other components of the car, a tie rod does not attract a lot of attention. Therefore, a lot of people aren't familiar with what they do. Do they need to be replaced? Or what are bad tie rod symptoms? But just like everything else in your car, tie rods will eventually wear out. Common bad tie rod symptoms. Now that you know which components often fail, we can move towards the symptoms of these failures. These symptoms are an indicator that your tie rods need to be replaced. Tie rods aren't supposed to fail. They are made to take all the beating bashing that comes with driving around. Some drivers rarely require a tie rod replacement. The engine often gives out way before tie rod, but some drivers need replacement every few years. Since tie rods are an integral part of the steering system, you need to know when they are not working properly. After all, the steering is the only source that allows you to control your car. A functioning steering wheel can be the difference between life and death. Obviously, you do not want to drive around with a tie rod that is not functioning. So, how do you know when to replace your tie rods? Thankfully, there are some common symptoms that you will encounter if your tie rods are failing. Steering wheel vibrations. One of the bad tie rod symptoms is vigorous vibrations and shaking. This happens when the tie rods loosen. A loose tie rod will not have a strong connection in either end. This allows the tie rods to move around. Similar to the way how the motion of the steering wheel is sent to the tie rod, the motion of the tie rod is sent to the steering wheel. A shaking tie rod will cause the steering wheel to vibrate and shake at the other end. The problem will get worse with time, and it will more evident when you are driving at high speeds or taking sharp turns. Abnormal noises. When your tie rod is not up to par, you will hear some pleasant noises as well. Generally, a faulty tie rod will emit a clunking or squeaking noise. These are noises that often occur when metal grinds on another metal surface. The issue is that you cannot exactly pinpoint where the sounds are coming from. Your car is basically made out of metal. Any other metal component that's loose could also emit the same noises. But if you hear these noises only when cornering, chances are it is your tie rod. This often happens due to the lack of grease. Without the grease, there will be friction present between metal components. This causes a squeaking noise. On the other hand, if you hear a clanking noise, where it sounds like two metals are bashing against each other, chances are something is wrong with the bushing. Even loose components can make a similar sound. Faulty wheel alignment. Since tie rods help maintain the position of the wheels, a faulty tie rod will directly affect the wheel alignment. If the tie rod is worn off, chipped, or broken, it will mess with the wheel alignment. You might notice that your car is veering off course. This often happens only in one direction, either left or right. But when this happens, you will have to make constant adjustments to keep the car in your lane. If you suspect that the alignment is not right, there is a way in which you can test it out. Point your wheels straight, or at least you will have to keep your steering wheel positioned straight. Now drive down the road. If your alignment is right, your car will go straight. But if there is a misalignment at the front wheels, the car will veer aside. You do not notice this easily if you do not do this test. When you are driving as you do normally, even if your car veers slightly, you will adjust it subconsciously. Unless there is a major misalignment, you will not notice it. Uneven tire wear. Another bad tie rod symptom is uneven tire wear. If your vehicle tires are properly aligned, they should wear evenly. If you notice that your left tire is balder than your right or vice versa, that could mean that your front wheels are misaligned. And this happens due to a bad tie rod. Apart from this aspect of tire wear, you should also look for which part of the tire has more wear. If your car has nothing wrong with it, the middle of the tires will have the most wear. If the wear in your tire is not centered and the sides of the tires are experiencing more wear, it could also mean that your tie rods are bad. It again comes down to wheels out of alignment. To test these, you can employ the same tactics we used earlier, loose steering wheel. This is one of the most common bad tie rod symptoms. It is hard to imagine a loose steering wheel. A loose steering wheel will not mean that you can rip out your steering wheel, but your steering wheel will move more freely. Though this is not the exact thing, when this happens to you, the steering wheel will be much easier to move. Though it is easier to move, turning the steering wheel will be less effective. If you cannot imagine this happening, do not worry. If this happens to you, you will feel the difference immediately. Continuing to drive with a loose steering wheel is risky. You could end up losing your steering completely. Excessive vehicle vibrations. Other than feeling the steering wheel vibrate, you might also feel that the entire car is vibrating. This is because tie rods are connected to the suspension. 
If the tie rods loosen, it will cause parts of the suspension to loosen. This will cause the entire car to vibrate. Another reason why your car is vibrating excessively can be uneven tire wear. This is also induced by a faulty tie rod. Usually, when your car starts to vibrate due to a busted tie rod, it means that your tie rods are a near-complete failure. Losing your tie rods means losing your steering. So if you feel like the excessive vibrations are caused by faulty tie rods, you need to get it checked immediately. Tie Rod Replacement Cost Now that you know when you need your tie rods replaced, we can start breaking down the costs. There's no exact value for a tie rod replacement cost. There are many variables that can affect the final cost. Ultimately, it depends on your car. You have to remember that tie rods are an integral part of the steering system. They should be functioning properly in order for you to safely drive your car. So no matter how much they cost, you need to make sure you get the repair done. Let us look at how much you should expect to pay for a tie rod replacement. Parts. The cost for parts differs according to the car you drive. Usually, high-performance cars and luxury cars need the costliest tie rods, but still most tie rods cost between $40 and $120. As mentioned, luxury and performance cars stick to the higher end of the spectrum. Apart from that, you should also remember that inner tie rods tend to cost more than outer tie rods. So depending on which one is damaged, the cost might vary. In some cars, you will be able to purchase tie rods as a set. Meaning if you need a replacement done, you need to spend on both the inner and outer tie rod. If this were the case, again, the price of parts will be at the higher end of the given range. Labor. Now that you have the parts, let's focus on labor charges. Usually, labor charges are what punch a hole through your wallet. Thankfully, that is not the case with tie rods. Replacing tie rods usually takes around 30 to 45 minutes. So labor charges are relatively lower than many other repairs. But how much exactly? Auto repair labor charges can drastically vary from place to place. In one state, it can be $45 to $170 on another. Since the pay is on an hourly basis, this will not cost a lot. The average pay for auto repair labor is around $80 to $100. So you should expect to pay around $40 to $50 for labor. To summarize what we talked about in this video, tie rods have a few components in them. Whenever one of those components is damaged, it turns out to be a tie rod failure. Since tie rods are a part of your steering system, you need to have proper functioning tie rods whenever you drive. The steering wheel is the only thing that allows you to have control over the car. Thankfully, there are symptoms that tie rods emit when they are not functioning properly. By analyzing these bad tie rod symptoms, you should be able to figure out when you need a tie rod replacement. Most of these symptoms are unique to bad tie rods, so identifying them is not hard. Once you run into bad tie rod symptoms, it indicates that you have a faulty tie rod or at least a failing one. You should never ignore a tie rod that is not working properly. If you think that a tie rod replacement will end up giving you a huge bill to pay, you are mistaken. On average, tie rod replacements cost between $100 and $300. The price might vary, but it will only set you back a few hundred bucks. Now that you know the safety hazards that come with a failing tie rod, a few hundred bucks for a tie rod replacement doesn't sound that bad. I hope this video helped. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and follow so you don't miss any of my videos.